Welcome, welcome, welcome to Storytime with me, Miss Sheila. Hope you're having a wonderful and beautiful day. Today's story is called, All the Things Dad Will Always Say. Hmm, I wonder what are things dads will always say. Let's find out. My sweet dad says the same things over and over again. They say all daddies are like that. Mine, well, what he will always say is, let's see what they're always saying. It looks like they're heading into the woods to go for a walk there. When I was young, no, sorry. When I was your age, I used to spend hours doing my homework every night. So there's a little boy doing his homework. But dad and his friends, the night before their big math test, what they're doing? Out playing soccer. This will be easy. I don't need directions. I'll get this built in no time, snap, daddy says. But the reality is, I have everything under control. He doesn't. <laughs> hey, kiddo, playing sports is a serious commitment. And daddy's like, you need to practice and work hard at it every day. But look at, does daddy practice? Nope. He only wants the son to do it. Don't be afraid. A little critter like that can't hurt you. So he's talking about the little dog. See? That's barking at him. But apparently it depends on the little critter. <laughs> My dad is afraid of the spider. <laughs> it's funny. Dad always says, patience is a virtue. Good things come to those who wait. And look at this poor boy. He's trying to draw something, but he's not getting it just right. Except in traffic jams, 10 minutes before the opening pitch of the baseball game. And you see his dad being impatient. Now, where did that remote go? Look close, closely. Do you see where the remote is? Let's see if you know. Honestly, I'm the only organized person in this house. And it's right in his pocket. His back pocket. He forgot he put it there. I love to cook. I watch all the cooking shows. Gourmet, no problem. Look at the mess he's making. Bon appetit, my little one. And he makes her a fried egg. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Above all, remember style and grace. And here, splash, gets everybody wet. When I was your age, I read only the best books by the greatest authors. But sometimes he stays in the bathroom a long, long time reading gossip magazines. Oh, no. You see, kiddo, Dad knows all about car repairs. We'll be on the road again in five minutes. I think it took longer than five minutes because, look, it's nighttime now, and the little one's sleeping in the back. But what Dad always says, and what I love so much, is climb up on my shoulders, my little one. Come and see how much bigger the world is when we are together. Wow, isn't that beautiful? Look, up by the ocean, they get to see the world together. Or maybe it's a river, I'm not sure. But it's so cool. I hope you enjoyed that story tonight. And I hope you keep remembering to love on your dad. Until next time with me, Miss Sheila, keep shining a bright light. Bye for now.